Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have a little vacation, not a staycation, a hotel stay for you. We are at Cabana Bay at Universal Studios Orlando Resort. So let me give you a room tour and then we'll give you a resort tour after. You come through the front door and you are met with a closet. This should have a safe. Looks like if you need some dry cleaning, they'll do some dry cleaning for you. Your luggage rack, iron board, and then some extra blankets if you need blankets. If you turn around, we have the bathroom. Really it's just the area with the sink. You have tissues, towels, hair dryer attached to the wall, and a nice mirror. Turn in a little more and you have your shower and toilet. It's pretty spacious in here. I'm honestly a little surprised. Then you also have a mirror on the door, if you like a door mirror, <laughs> full length. And turn in here and we have a room with two queen beds. This was one of the only options for the view that we have. So I will show you that in just a moment. You have an old school analog clock here if you want to read the time on the clock. You have your room phone. Lights on both sides of the bed. Turn around, you have table and chairs just in case you need to sit and do any work or want to relax. Here you have your TV along with a coffee pot and an ice bucket. Oh, and we do have a fridge. We brought some dinner leftover, so that's nice. We have a fridge. And then you also have some drawers if you like to unpack your clothing. Now, what we've been waiting for, it is nighttime, so it's not as fun, but we have a view of Volcano Bay. So you can see, sort of, <laughs> crack a towel over there in the wave pool. So I'll also show you guys this in the morning once you have better view with the sunlight. We are located in the Bayside building, which is the almost complete opposite side of the lobby. Here, I'll show you the map. If you have Cabana Bay view rooms, you'll be in one of these two. I believe it'll mostly be Bayside. So we're over here. We have to go through all of this to get back to the lobby. And then you have your restaurants around here. These are other rooms, a pool, and then a pool over here. So let's go ahead and make our way over here to the lobby. It is about 9.40, so I'll show you guys all of this tomorrow during the day as well. But we're taking a walking path outside, kind of around the pool area to get to the lobby. Here's a little bit of the pool at night. You can see the volcano from Volcano Bay in the background. Nice pool, and there is a lazy river over off on the side as well. It is zero entry, which for some reason I just really enjoy. <laughs> and then we'll keep turning this way, keep going towards the lobby. We followed this all the way over and we are here. So this area is considered the Bayliner Diner. And from what I understand, it has a couple different vendors to choose from. So you can buy things like shakes over here. And there's a bunch of vendors over on this other side here. So let's hop over and see what they have. There is a lot of seating in here as well. That's the first thing I said when we walked through here. So there's quite a bit of seating. And over here, there are plenty of snacks to choose from. And these are natural fruits and dietary options. So you have some gluten-free on the side, gluten-free pretzels, gluten-free crackers, shortbread cookies, gluten-free muffins, gluten-free bread. So you have plenty to choose from. And if you turn this way, they have grab-and-go items. They have, looks like plenty of drinks. They have some pastries with a toaster available. Chips and dip. Alcohol over there. You can do chips, there's sandwiches, there's cupcakes. There's a lot to choose from. There's an icy machine if you like ices. Over here you have a grill. So they have chili cheese dogs, hot dogs, cheeseburgers chicken sandwiches. Over here you have more of your international cuisine. So you have a Brazilian beef, ahi tuna bowl, shrimp stir fry. You have your pizza and pasta. So you get classic cheese, pepperoni, crispy chicken alfredo, spaghetti with meatballs. And then last over here, it looks like you can get some sandwiches. 
So roast turkey and provolone, hot Cuban sandwich, Beyond Burger. And it looks like there's still additional snacks over here. So you have cereals, you have more drinks, more drinks, more drinks. <laughs> And then some more pastries, chips, candy, pretty much everything you could possibly need in here. It's like that bowling out of pizza. So good. You know? Um, excuse me? There's a frozen yogurt bar? What do you mean? What do you mean? And I missed this, but on the other side there's a salad bar as well. So you have your lettuce, you have every topping you could possibly want multiple dressings to choose from, some fruit, holy smokes. Over to the side of Bayliner Diner, there is a malt shop and they have sundaes and splits, smoothies, shakes, and floats. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's a good chocolate shake. Got one because I had to, right? So we're just gonna walk around. We're gonna go to a merchandise store. Then I think we might just head up to the room for the evening, but we'll leave you guys the rest of the tour tomorrow. Back there is the Bayliner Diner. You come this way and you have a Starbucks coffee. You go upstairs, there's a Galaxy Bowl. Then we're gonna keep going straight ahead to the Swizzle Lounge, Atomic Tonic, and Pool. And then this is also the merchandise store that we were referring to earlier. It is October 1st, the day that we're visiting. So they are all set for Halloween Horror Nights. And they have been for a little while now. We debated going while we were here, but it was just a little too much and we decided to do Volcano Bay instead. These are cute little tumblers. And then you have the wine glasses down there. You have some Simpsons merch. Turn this way. What do we got? Some Quicksilver items and some swim sh I don't know, swimsuits for Volcano Bay. They have a little Minions headband. You have plenty of unicorn items to choose from. Oh, they also have any of your toiletry needs or any medications, band-aids, shampoo, feminine products down at the bottom, medicines, razors, makeup removers sunscreen and then any additional medications again because it's Halloween Horror Nights this time around they have a scan to activate spooky filter capture and share so Ben's trying it's it out loading. here we'll see if it works oh oh it's a special tap and hold universal. record to start oh oh Ooh, what some spooky pumpkins falling spooky around pumpkins. you. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So you walk in through the front door and to your right you have your check-in desk. They do have some decorations in here like we said for Halloween Horror Nights. So you can see lots of pumpkins and vines and everything. Then if you turn over here to the left there is a bar. Over here on the other side by the pool they do have a list for poolside movies. So Monday is Rugrats in Paris, Tuesday is Home, Wednesday is Flushed Away, Thursday is Boss Baby, Friday's Madagascar, Saturday's Madagascar 2, and Sunday's Madagascar 3. How fitting. Right here next to the poolside movie list, you have your screen where you can tap and you can get maps and activities. Oh, and then you just scan a QR code. <laughs> Let's see on the map. Okay, the map at least shows you. You can look at the dining, and you pick your dining options, amenities, what amenities you want, and then transportation. So that's pretty nice. And over here is the bar titled Swizzle. They have some spooky decorations as well. They have special cocktails for Halloween Horror Nights. So they have radioactive slime, witch's brew, a little boozy. And they also have annual pass holder exclusives, such as the Walking Zombie, Poison Apple, and Ghostly Delight. They honestly all sound pretty delicious. And then you can just get your normal signature cocktails over here. 
We walked outside for a second. Oh, we grabbed some pizza and some breadsticks. Then we did end up getting a drink as well. So we will try the that on camera in a second. Slime. Radioactive slime. But there's lots of seating over here. And there is a fire pit over here and they sell some s'mores kits in the in the food cafeteria. Bayliner Diner. <laughs> and we'll turn this way. We are going to walk back to our room. Let's go ahead and give the drink a try. Wow. Yeah, so it doesn't taste like alcohol. I saw her pour it in, so I know it's in there. But it really just tastes like there's pineapple juice in there, right? Mm -hmm. It's pineapple juice and mango puree. But that's pretty dangerous. We are back in our own area and they do have some Tide Pods, some Bounce, some candy. In there is actually a laundry room and then you have some drinks as well. We're gonna take the elevator, head back to the room. Like I said, we ordered some pizza and breadsticks. So let's go ahead and give the pizza a try. Let's give it a try. <laughs> That's not bad. I don't know what's making it good, but it tastes good. <laughs> if I got that for room service, I'd be pretty happy. So let's go ahead and just, we'll give the breadstick a bite. Just as is. Mmm. Okay, I'm a little shocked. That's pretty good too. It's a light garlic, but you can still taste it. That's pretty good. Floor nine. Hello. That was my voice, thank you very much. I just wanted to show, I don't think I've showed anything of the hallway. So it has old, like vintage vibes. I don't know what era this would be. 60s maybe, 50s, 60s. But that's the vibe of the whole hotel. So it's very fun. It has been a long time since I've updated you guys. So we spent almost the whole day at Volcano Bay. We left at about three o'clock. They do close at five though. So there were two other, you know, remaining hours in the park day, but we did come home. We kind of took a little nap, had a little snack, but we're kind of hungry for dinner and we're a little too tired to go out anywhere and we leave in the morning. So we're gonna head down to Bayliner Diner again. Maybe try, you know, some new foods different than the pizza, but just grab something to eat. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to eat this whole thing, but this is the brownie sundae. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, let's dig in. Always just start with the cherry on top. I don't know how to attack this. I figured it'd be brownie on the bottom and then the ice cream on top. Ooh, the ice cream's good and the chocolate syrup. We're over here just across from the malt shop next to the drink station. And I didn't even notice, but there's a TV up here too. So you can watch cartoons, a TV, anywhere in here. I decided to get the Cabana Bay burger. Okay. So it has onion and mushroom and Swiss cheese. And then there's also bacon over there as well. I'm so excited for this. So Bayliner Diner is cafeteria style, so you go up to which stall that you want to eat at, grab your food, and then you check out at the counter back over there. So we are getting some spaghetti and meatballs. They also have a daily special of baked penne and chicken, which looks really good. And then there's their side of mac cheese as well. Here is the burger. And honestly, for the price, it's a pretty good looking burger. The cheese, the sauce, the onions, the mushroom, how big the bun is. It looks pretty good. Then let's open up the spaghetti and I'll show you the spaghetti. And then here is the spaghetti. So the spaghetti came out to $13 and the burger was 16. But overall, I think you get your money's worth for what you're paying for. She loaded this, like this is heavy. Lots of noodles, lots of sauce, the breadstick and it looks like four meatballs. So I'd say this is worth your money. Ben moved his breadstick and there were two hidden meatballs in there. So we got six total. So, the burger is good. The bun is kind of falling apart a little bit. I think it's just because it's such a big burger that, you know, some of the juices and the sauce were getting into the bun and so it's a little soggy now and kind of falling apart, but it's still delicious and the fries are good too. And this spaghetti 
is just what I was wanting. The meatballs taste pretty good too. So overall, like, I'm pretty happy with what we got. Ben made a good point that you know these are homemade meatballs because they're all different sizes. So that one's kind of long. That one's a little bit big. That one's kind of small. So you have a little bit of everything. So you know that they're homemade. So at the end of these type of videos, I like to do a little recap since I don't talk too much about, you know, the pricing. And then I just want to give an overall review of how we like the hotel. So Cabana Bay Beach Resort, we loved it. There was not a single thing that we found wrong or that we were nitpicky about. Like everything was amazing. The food was better than we expected as you guys saw in the video. There was plenty of options to choose from. So even if you have picky eaters, there's plenty to choose from. Or if they don't want the hot food, there's the cold foods, there's, you know, there's just so many options. Check-in was super easy. You can either check in at the front desk or we checked in online ahead of time so that all we had to do was go up to the desk and get our keys. They did provide us with a map to show us where everything was, which was really nice. The walk to Volcano Bay from our building, which was Bayside, no joke, took 45 seconds from the time we stepped out that front door and made it to the gate where we go through security. It was so convenient, so convenient. They do have a parking garage if you want to park in the parking garage or they do have a couple outside spots. We chose to park in the garage just because it's a lot easier. There were plenty of spots open. It was clearly the off season because there was not a lot of people, not a lot of cars, and it was perfect. We went to the Swizzle Bar both nights to grab a drink and then take it up to the room. Both of the bartenders were nice. The people at the food court were nice. Everybody was just so great. Like the whole experience I loved it. <laughs> I don't really have too much to compare it to. I would say the closest would be the Gaylord Rockies in Colorado that I've stayed in, but I haven't really stayed in a big resort like that where you have bars, you have restaurants and places to, you know, eat and, a, you know, the pool and the milkshake shop. So I don't have too much to compare it to, but in comparison to the Gaylord, I would almost say it's better. <laughs> We had a great time. There's so much more we could do at the resort. We didn't even touch the pools, which we really wanted to, but the day we were done at Volcano Bay, we were tired and we took a nap. <laughs> so we didn't make it out to the pool. And they have their own lazy river, like, oh, we have to go back now. We have to go back and do it all again and try all the things that we didn't do that first time, like Galaxy Bowl, the two pools, and anything else. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this hotel tour. We will do a more in-depth tour if and when we get to go back and experience it. We were trying to just take some of it in as it was our first time, but if we go back, we will do a little more in-depth tour, especially because we've been there now and we know how everything works, where things are, etc. Thank you all for coming along and experiencing a new hotel with me. I hope you'll stick around and experience more.